Donald Trump indicted on four federal felony counts. The former president accused of criminally assaulting the bedrock of American democracy. I think we have a very powerful statement from the special counsel of how the former president really tried to undermine our democracy from within. And this is the third criminal case filed against the current GOP frontrunner. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Julie Hayner. The Department of Justice indicted Mr. Trump over his alleged effort to overturn the 2020 election results and that he knowingly pushed lies about the election leading to the insurrection. KTVU's Zach Soss joins us now with a breakdown of today's indictment. Zach. Yeah, these new federal charges, the result of a sprawling investigation by the U.S. Justice Department. Much of the four-count indictment focused on Trump's actions in the run-up to January 6th at, of the, at the U.S. Capitol. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6th, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. As described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. Justice Department Special Counsel Jack Smith unveiling a four-count criminal indictment against former President Donald Trump Tuesday, the current GOP presidential frontrunner, accused of conspiring with allies and spreading lies in a deliberate attempt to overturn his election loss to President Biden. Since the attack on our Capitol, the Department of Justice has remained committed to ensuring accountability for those criminally responsible for what happened that day. This case is brought consistent with that commitment. The new charges against Trump include conspiracy to defraud the U.S., conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an official proceeding, and conspiracy to prevent others from carrying out their constitutional rights. The former president continuing to maintain his innocence, his campaign releasing a statement saying, quote, these un-American witch hunts will fail and President Trump will be re-elected to the White House so he can save our country from the abuse, incompetence, and corruption that is running through the veins of our country at levels never seen before. Constitutional law expert Jessica Levinson closely monitoring the case. Special counsel Jack Smith has laid out a very strong indictment against the former president. I think it really falls within three buckets. There's the bucket of trying to send fake electors to the electoral college. Then there's the idea of trying to thwart the counting of the Electoral College votes. And finally, there's the idea of depriving people of their right to an honest counting of their votes. Former Vice President Mike Pence taking to social media on Tuesday, saying in part, quote, today's indictment serves as an important reminder. Anyone who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. Adding, quote, on January 6th, former President Trump demanded that I choose between him and the Constitution. I chose the Constitution, and I always will. The latest case marking the third indictment Trump has faced this year. Mr. Smith and his team of experienced, principled career agents and prosecutors have followed the facts and the law wherever they lead. And this latest indictment was filed in Washington, D.C. That's where the former president is expected to make his first appearance before a federal judge on Thursday. Mike, Julie? Zach Sauce reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.